How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber release and because Valerius is still on break, we have a guest writer for us today and it is none other than Inanitas aka Sirius, okay? So uh, he's the one doing the Fear Engine saga and it's been quite a long time since we last uh, saw an update to that. So I'm pretty happy that we finally get to see a continuation of this saga. He also did the release for AQ Worlds this week so huge shout out to the guy man. Really did a fantastic job of uh, both of the quests. but let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, Fear Engine storming the boat. Last time you met Sirius, a rune arcanum from the southern continent who was being chased by Fear Jesus. And where are Fear Jis? There's the Phobis, Phobis, Phoebus, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Operating from the shadows, always with a new scheme up her sleeve. Now you and Sirius have to hurry and save his sister from the Phobis's clutches and put an end to her army of fear creations. Head over to Sirius or the mysterious fog in Book 3 Falcon Ridge to continue the fear engine's quest line. Okay, so in order to find Sirius, all you have to do is go right from here and there he is, standing right there. <coughs> And I can't wait for the day when we can finally invite Sirius as a guest. I wonder what kind of interesting skills he will have up his sleeve. Okay, Quests, Storming the Boat. <coughs> Alright, we're almost there. So Sirius, tell me more about yourself and your sister. Well, my sister Cassandra and I are not from this continent. Oh, where are you from? We are from a continent south of here. Really? I don't think I've heard much about what this, what is in the south. If I remember correctly, someone mentioned something about elemental titans, dragons and giants roaming these lands. But I'm not sure if that's true. I don't know much about that. The south is a pretty big place. I haven't heard of anything like that, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Hmm. What brings you here then? Cassandra actually. You two must be pretty close if you follow her all the way here. We are, though she isn't my sister by blood. Ever since we were little, our families were always close. Her parents were actually the ones to introduce me to magic. They used to teach me about all the different types of magics they had discovered during their travels. They were supposed to teach me how to perform them all until... Well, they aren't with us anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, after they passed, my parents thought to it that Cass was taken care of. We are inseparable ever since. Now we travel the world, studying the different magics that exist on law like her parents would have wanted. From the south, as a veil, and now here. Well, if it's magic you are interested in, we'll have to have a chat about it once this is over. I know a good amount of magic myself. She would love that. I noticed the magic you used to fight. Did Cassandra's parents teach it to you? Mostly, it's rune magic, a specialty of ours in the south. This artifact allows me to use it. It's an heirloom passed down through my family for generations. We aren't exactly sure how it works, but it seems to focus magic into something more potent. But enough about me, what about you? Not much to tell, I have a world destroyer dragon that I hatched myself, saved the world a couple of times, got frozen for a couple of years, now here I am. Wow, the hero, really humble bragging right here. That sounds a little more than not much to tell. What can I say, just the life of an average epoch. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, this is so cool. Not more of these guys. And I believe this is a nod to what his character is. He's a spell sword, okay, inside of AQ Wars, if I'm not wrong. So it looks like he's going for the same thing uh, with his Dragon Fable counterpart. Though a different look, of course. I take it, I take it this path for the course? Yeah, pretty much. Right, let's go. Did we get him as a guest? No. Herpetophobia. Oh nice, they are weak to evil and good. Oh, and I'm also back to using Epoch after some of you guys wanted to see the new Epoch. So that's what we'll do. Let's do hack and gain double turns. Oh, come on. A little bit left. Okay, uh, let's do... Where's the multi attack? It's been a long time since I last used this. Oh, baby dragon is also not fully trained. Whoopsies. That's fine though. And zero damage. Huh. I guess we blocked it completely. Okay. Oh, the music goes really nicely with this quest. Really, really good music. Let's do hack. And we'll do multi. Let's 
so multi and oh the multi on dragon bite epoch doesn't have a cooldown nice this leads to a clearing definitely not the right way to go you and Sirius are on your way to the Phoebus's vessel with one clear go rescue Cassandra Sirius's sister her pitophobia okay which one kills him does gun burst do it I'm not exactly sure it's been a super long time since I last used this okay gun burst does do it nice And here we have Vetoroche and the other side we have Limcrest and Falcon Reach. Falcon Reach is this way and you're not going to Falcon Reach. Oh okay. So you thought it would be like a quest whereby you get to go to different places but no it's actually just uh there's only one path to take. Can you enter here? Nope. Nope, the dog isn't this way. Oh, by the way, <laughs> little funny tidbit for you guys. For those of you who don't know what herpetophobia means, no, it is not a fear of herpes. It is a fear of lizards. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of a Easter egg or funny moment in this quest and by lizard. <laughs> okay, do you guys get the link now? Yeah, and our dragon doesn't like to be referred to as a lizard anyway, so... Let's try to keep that in mind, okay? You try to handle hoping that the sea is behind this lock, but it's locked, you should check some other way. Of course. Wow, okay, Sirius really killing it with the humor here. Nice. Is it better to use overcharge and then just use the multi? Hmm, maybe that's better. You do get two double turns to begin with, right? Terrified, what's this? Residual fear and terrified. Yes, terrified is a stun. Yeah, but they didn't manage to stun me, so that's good. Oh, wait. Or oh, does it reduce my immobility resist? Wait a minute. Why is my immobility resist that low? Is it always that low? Okay, I guess it is. Huh, weird. Oh yeah, I mean, if you add on with the all resist, it's literally 95, so I guess it's not super low. Uh, anything in this treasure chest? Nope. Hmm, there's a little bit of an overlap in the music here. The quest music is still going on. At the same time, we got this eerie little eerie music going on. I don't know if this is intended or if they didn't mean to do this. There she is, go away. Is there any way to treat guesses? You already led this hero to me. She looks... She reminds me of... Jania for some reason. I, I don't know what is it about her, but she does remind me a little bit about Jania. You're going to lead it to me too. Lead what to you? I said, go away. Oh... Oh, I, I like this music. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Wait, that's what you meant by sheep. That's unlike any sheep I've ever seen. They haven't seen southern sheep. That's terrifying. There's no way I'm fighting that thing. Come on, Sirius. We have to. To save your sister. I, I'm... Oh man, looks like Sirius has a terrible fear of sheep. Guess it's up to us. Ovinophobia. Okay, so we'll start with Hack first. Then we'll do Overdrive. I kinda wanna see what special mechanics this monster has, so maybe we'll try not to burst him down. One hit. Okay, a kick. That doesn't do anything though. I kind of want to see what this monster has, so we'll try and drag out the battle a little bit. See if he has any special mechanics or anything like that. Okay, that kick's not really doing anything though.
Maybe he just doesn't have any special mechanics. Uh, okay, I think he doesn't do anything special, so we'll just go ahead and kill it. Cass, what do you think you are doing? What? You know how afraid I am of those things. Cass, Cassandra? Wait, the Phobis is your sister? I'm sorry for misleading you. Why do you want to lead it to me, Sirius? Why are you talking about what's going on? If you tell me, I can help you. Where do you get that? Go away, Sirius. It's coming. You need to put that thing down and get away from it. Nothing is coming for you. The artifact is messing with your mind. This almost... Okay, it's got like the the little cog wheel here. It looks like it's from the Exaltia series of uh, monsters. And then this looks like a legion thingy from AQ Worlds. No, you're just trying to trick me. You want that, that thing to get me. This, it will protect me. You won't let anything get you. I won't let anything get you, Cass. Just put the artifact down, you'll see. You're lying, just like your family. You know I will never lie to you. This thing is messing with your mind. It's holding you hostage. You didn't follow me here because you cared. You only came because they sent you. That's not true, Cass. You know that if I didn't go after you, they would have sent Arcana to drag you back. I just... What, use this as an excuse to get out of your stuffy tower, Prince? Ooh, and Sirius is apparently a prince. Interesting. Oh no, I can only imagine the rumors being sold on the streets back home. Prince, wait, Sirius, are you? I'll explain later. No, no, I won't let you do this to me. I won't. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Don't do this. Oh god. What's happening? Run, I don't want you getting sucked into this. Sucked into what? Oh boy. And... Weird tentacles out of the ground. Okay. This really sucks. Yes, it does. Visage of fear. Oh! <laughs> wow, I am so lucky, guys. Okay, so... Uh, you get a new cosmetic helm from this quest and apparently you can only get it as a drop and from what I've seen it is not a 100% drop Nice! Got a cosmetic version on the first try Alright So let's see how it looks like Where is it? Strike fear into your foes Ooh! Okay, wow, this actually looks pretty not, uh, pretty nice Wow also, more exciting news for you guys before I end off the video. Um, first things first, the Unity and North DC weapons, okay. I would advise getting the lowest level versions because uh, of their effects. They, if I'm not wrong, okay, don't quote me on this, they have the highest chance out of all the other weapons in the game to inflict a dot currently. So I would definitely go and get both of these. The lowest level versions cost only 100 DCs each. So I will go ahead and pick those up and the second piece of exciting news, we'll head over to the design notes over here. Hey, and we finally see uh, uh, Dove here instead of Burly. Okay. It's me, but there's Dove. Okay. <clears throat> Look at this, guys. Quite exciting news regarding calendar classes. More info coming soon. Boy, oh boy, I am so excited. So for those of you guys who don't know what kickstarted this, uh, it started with... AQ Worlds getting the Exaltia Tower released from Dragon Fable last week and then this week they are bring, bringing back calendar classes into AQ Worlds. That's right, you heard me right. Reskin version of calendar classes. They've buffed up the old calendar classes and they've also reintroduced them back into the game with the same skills, just a different set of skins and uh, buffed up skills. So I think that is amazing and from what we are seeing, we could be seeing something similar coming to Dragon Table, guys. I am super duper excited. Okay, currently this account, I'm only missing three calendar classes. Uh, shout out to Jamie Dean Gawai as well as Morph once again for gifting me the calendar codes. Okay, uh, the only calendar that I bought myself was actually the 2021 calendar, which is this Dragon Bite Epoch. The rest were all gifted from then. And for my calendar collection right now, I'm only missing the Chronomancer. Uh, from 2011, Time Killer from 2014, as well as Chrono Z from 2013 calendar. So for my uh, class collection, uh, all I'm missing are these three calendar classes, and then I will have the full collection of classes. But it looks like we will be getting that very soon, okay? 
maybe Dragon Faber might get the same treatment as AQ was, allowing you to go ahead and buy the calendars inside of the game for the game's premium currency, which in Dragon Faber's case will be Dragon Coins. Okay, so it causes 6,000 ACs inside of AQ Worlds. They said that the price for the calendar classes will be the same according to when you first buy the calendar from Hero Mart. So I'm assuming it's going to cost 5,000 DCs uh, per calendar class. I think that's a reasonable price. And they also the staff also did say that they want to keep the prices the same whether or not you bought it uh, from Hero Mart or you buy it inside of the game uh, to ensure that it's fair for all players. Which means I will need to set aside 15,000 DCs and I am 2,000 short. Okay, I don't know if there's still a sale going on right now. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully the sale sticks around till when the uh, this release actually comes out. And then I'll decide if I want to buy some more Dragon Coins. I probably will though just to get the class and complete the collection. And that's going to do it for this week's video guys. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this amazing quest uh, written by Inanitas. As well as the calendar classes that may possibly be coming back to Dragon Fable. Alright, so if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corriban Gaming. Peace out.